Everyone, today I'm talking about fixing the web. Some of you might know this already. This is fundamentally a talk about taste. Now, back in the 1970s, if you're in Weight Watchers, you, we hoped that you liked red cabbage and jello because that were on the recommended slides of uh, what you should be eating. But that's not my taste. My taste is different. So when I was in primary school, I didn't think very much of, uh, of this particular painting. Instead, I thought this painting was much better, which I drew. Likewise, I didn't think very much of this document. And uh, I thought that a much better document was this one here, which I wrote myself. <laughs> and by the time I got to high school... <laughs> By the time I got to high school, things weren't much better. <laughs> so, one of the great things about being an open source is we can fix things. And one of the great things about having physical objects is we can fix things as well. We've been doing a lot of hardware hacking this week. So, if you've got a program you don't like or a public space you don't like, you can fix it to your taste. It's fantastic. <laughs> but can we do that with the web? Well, we can. There's this cool plugin called GreaseMonkey. GreaseMonkey lets you run JavaScript on any page you want. JavaScript which you write, which is fantastic. So let's go and fix a web page, make it better. Now I've only got three minutes, so I can't do this quite live. Which web page are we going to suck? Uh, are we going to fix? One that sucks. Which web page sucks the most? That's right, MySpace. <laughs> I struggle to find any redeeming features on MySpace, but some of my friends have their blogs there. So if I go to MySpace, I get something which looks like this, of which I care about almost nothing. To fix MySpace, I'm going to use a little bit of JavaScript. <laughs> what this lets you do is you pass it an ID, it tells it to go away. Now, how do you find those element IDs? Well, you can look inside the HTML source, but if you've ever looked at HTML source of MySpace, it's pretty scary. <laughs> So, I'm going to use another tool called Firebug, which is another Firefox plugin. Yes, which some of you have used. It's awesome. Firebug's got an inspect mode. You wave over something on the top right there. Um, you can see down the bottom, there's the HTML, nicely formatted the element which is responsible. So, you can use that element. So, once you've found other, all those elements, you can then remove all those things you don't like. And if you go to MySpace without this plugin, it looks like this. If you turn on Grease Monkey and install the code I've written, it looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> and if you've already logged in, it looks like that. <laughs> so you can do anything you want with Grease Monkey and Firebug, uh, but most people are lazy. They don't really want to write code themselves. So if you want to have something cool like a plugin which lets you see all the different book prices when you go to Amazon, you can go to userscripts.org, which is a huge repository. You can see there, MySpace for unsocial fascist bastards. <laughs> that one's mine. <laughs> More than 14,000 scripts on that site. So everyone, go fix the web. Thank you. <laughs>